What's up, guys? It's Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down how wide receivers can get faster off the line of scrimmage and be faster off the ball, okay? So I hope this video helps you guys out. If you guys have any questions at all on this, don't hesitate to leave those in the comment section below. We read every comment, and we always appreciate it. But also, fellas, today only, we're having a special offer solely for our YouTube community. We really appreciate you guys tuning in every single day. We appreciate you guys watching the channel. So today only, we're offering a $50 discount on any one of our six remaining remaining quarterback and wide receiver training camp. So if you go to that very first link in the description and you go to checkout, use the promo code YouTube50 for $50 off any one of our camps that you would like to attend. This offer is only going to be allowed for today only, and we are only taking four uses of this promo code. So check out that very first link in the description, fellas. If you want to come out, get some work in with us. We wanted to give this to you guys because we const we appreciate just the constant support from you guys. And you know, we really hope we get you guys out to one of these camps. It'd be a great opportunity for you to improve your skills. So check out that very first link in the description below, promo code YouTube50 for $50 off. Let's get back to this video. So now, first things first is when you guys come off the line and you're against a press coverage look, a lot of wide receivers lack explosion and they lack speed. And that speed is what's going to put that DB on the alert, put the DB on his heels and make him uncomfortable. So how you can get speed off of any press release is something that we call a prep step or a gather step. And that is something that you use with your front foot. So we're looking at this clipper from Elijah Moore, one of the most explosive receivers in the game and he comes off and you see how explosive he is with this first step and he puts that DB on the on his heels he makes him in a very uncomfortable situation and it starts with this step so a lot of people call a lot of people that don't know what they're talking about will call this a false step this is not a false step if you had a DB who was off like 10 to 12 yards and you had to go run a comeback or you had to go run like a dig and you took a step like that and the route was off of steps then yes, that would be considered a false step. But because it's against press, we need some kind of explosion, right? Some kind of speed. And this prep step gives you more speed. When you take that little slight step, and it's almost at like a 45 degree angle, it's not like you're throwing a hard cut. You're not stepping laterally. It's just a little step almost at 45 degrees that gives you some explosion, that gives you some burst to allow you to push off of this cut. When I take that prep step, I push off of it. And that's what makes that first step have a little bit more speed and have a little bit more burst. You could take this prep step on like a diamond release to get this DB to bail and then slip under. You could take this prep step on a wide step or a release like this. But that prep step right there is a great way to improve your speed off the ball and to improve your explosiveness when you're against a press coverage DB. Now we're going to talk about a situation on how you can get a faster stem off the ball when the DB is in off coverage. Okay, so let's play this thing full speed one more time. Great use of the prep step, putting that DB on his heels and then being able to create some separation. So now, obviously inside shade guy, and he has to run like a post route right here, right? So we already know that you would want to, if you had this situation inside shade and you had to run an inside breaking route, you wouldn't want to attack his leverage, right? So if I have to attack his leverage, he's just going to keep his leverage and I'll run right into him. So I could either attack his leverage initially, then work to the outside shoulder or work to the outside shoulder right away. He attacks his leverage initially and then works to the outside shoulder. But again, he's at a weird angle, right? He's inside shade. So we still got to be able to get off the ball fast because it's a post route. I don't want to lose timing and I don't want to waste too much time, but I also want to get on, get into him and get into him fast so I make him uncomfortable. So something that you can do is pivot off of your front foot, right? So let's watch this full speed. So this receiver pivots off the front foot, almost like a shorter version of that like prep step, if you will. But when you pivot, that pretty much just sets your hips up. So when you guys are in a, a stance, to be able to do this effectively, you have to make sure that we have about 70% of my weight on my front leg. A lot of people say that, oh, you, as a wide receiver, you want to turn your toe towards the sideline because that gives you balance and you could just push off of that. You don't want to do that because that closes off your hips. You just want to make sure that we have about 70% of my weight and my back foot isn't super wide. This is a perfect textbook balance position that we could be in because now I have the freedom to either, if I wanted to, he could just get off the ball right now. If he needs to stem inside, he can pivot off the front foot. If he needs to take like a prep step on a release, he can do that as well. You want to be comfortable in your stance, but you also want to have some explosion off of the front foot and not a super wide back leg. So when he pivots off of this front foot, that just allows him to square up this DB. That just allows him to angle his stem at him, right? That allows him to get his hips attacking him and putting him on the defensive and make him uncomfortable. So to get more speed off of that ball, make sure we are in an explosive spot with my front foot, about 70% of my weight on it. And now to get more explosion off the ball, when I have to attack a DB's leverage initially, or maybe square him up at first, I want to make sure that I'm able to pivot. I'm in a comfortable stance. If his base is super wide, if his back foot is super wide, 
he's not able to pivot off of this front foot. So that slight pivot allows him to square him up, and then it allows him to burst to the outside shoulder to get some space. Let's watch the thing again full speed one more time. So, fellas, to make sure that we get faster off the ball, get more explosive off the ball, we have to make sure that I'm in a comfortable stance. I'm not too wide. I have about 70% of my weight on my front leg, and don't be afraid to pivot or take that prep step to get you off. Let's watch the thing again full speed one more time. Great job here by this wide receiver attacking outside shoulder and getting that DB to flip his hips. All right, fellas, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to leave those in the comment section below. We'll get back to you as soon as we possibly can. Again, like we said in the beginning, we always appreciate the feedback and we read all of your comments. And again, fellas, today only, four uses only of this promo code, promo code YouTube50 for $50 off. Any one of our six off-season camps are coming to Atlanta, Georgia, Columbus, Ohio, Chicago, Illinois, Dallas, Texas, Nashville, Tennessee, and Los Angeles, California. So if you guys want to come out, $50 discount today only for only our YouTube subscribers. We really appreciate the support, fellas. Very first link in the description below. I'll see you guys next time.